What are your thoughts on the DPRK's change in stance toward reunification? Well, Chris, North Korea is not offering them anything right now, right? They really opened up, right? Donald Trump went there and things were really moving ahead. And then the USA ended it. John Bolton ended it. There was an attack on the, uh, on the, you know, the, the North Korean embassy in Spain. And then Biden came in and now they're putting nukes. They're putting nukes, um, you know, uh, in the, these, the Korean peninsula, nuclear submarines. And I mean, they, I mean, the Biden administration has basically wiped away and erased, um, everything, you know, everything, everything that, uh, that was achieved during the Trump administration. And right now, North Korea can't look like, oh, we just want to come back to the table. They have to make clear, no, you stabbed us in the back. And they look at what the Iran nuclear deal, what happened there. And they look at, you know, how many times the USA has tried to reset things with Russia. And right now, North Korea, I mean, do you, I don't blame them at all for what they're saying. I don't think that it's not irreversible. I do think things could change, right? And my hope is that with a new administration and with changing conditions, you know, if the war in Ukraine, there would be an armistice in Ukraine, if, if you know, the, there was an, a ceasefire in Gaza, under new circumstances, under detente, if we could move toward detente, that could change. But right now, I, what they're saying, it makes absolute sense. What bothers me is that, you know, North Korea, they are saying this. They are saying we don't want to reunify. They are tearing down monuments to reunification and stuff like that. But there are people that hate North Korea, that don't want reunification, that are just trying to scream this from the heavens. See, there's no hope. It will never happen. They're, they're just blowing this up out of proportion because they don't want it. Okay. Um, you know, and um, so, you know, that said, I, I, I would urge people to not give up hope. I am not giving up hope that there can be peaceful reunification of the Korean Peninsula. But, I mean, I, you can't deny that what North Korea is saying, which is under these circumstances, it ain't happening, right? And that's basically what Kim Jong-un is saying. And he's going out of his way to just make that clear. I mean, the USA has, you know, the USA is basically threatening them, attacking them, doing everything it can. Um, and so... Kim Jong-un is like, all right, I am going to send a message that I am not giving you guys a penny. I am not giving you guys a finger. I am not doing nothing for you guys. Reunification monument torn down. South Korea, you're a different nationality. Fuck you. I mean, he's, you know, I mean, look, the USA has completely stabbed North Korea in the back, completely reversed everything um, that, that South Korea, you know, has done. Right. Um, and so as a result of that, um, you know, uh, you know, I mean, they've got to, you know, they've got to move in this direction. My hope. You know, my hope uh, is that that, um, you know, that we, uh, you know, we could, um, you know, um, at some point, um, my hope is that uh, that we could. Um, you know, uh, possibly, um, you know, at some point we could see this reversed, but it's going to take some work. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a bad situation. I've been warning everyone how bad things are on the Korean peninsula. They are worse than ever right now. And what Kim is saying right now is pretty solid confirmation of that. You know, I am going to the world youth festival you know, me and a couple other CPI people, we're guests of the World Youth Festival. The Kim Il-sung youth of North Korea are going to be at that festival. And honestly, I'm worried, to tell you the truth, because based on the circumstances, they would have every right to just completely ignore us, to just completely cold shoulder us. And if they did, there's nothing we can do about that, you know? We are actually printing a special booklet dedicated to peaceful reunification of the Korean Peninsula. And I've reached out to friends 
uh, you know, uh, you know, Reverend Milhan Stevens, uh, Douglas Kim, the poker champion, uh, you know, of Korean heritage. Uh, you know, he wrote an essay for it. He's great. I am Douglas Kim. He wrote this beautiful letter to the Kim Il-sung youth. And, and Reverend Milhan Stevens, who's definitely not a communist or a socialist, but it loves the Korean people and his religion very much believes that Korea is sacred. And, you know, he wrote a beautiful essay. And, and Noah, our, our member from Boston, who is of Korean heritage, he wrote a beautiful piece about Korea. And I've got a couple pieces and it's not a long book. It's very short. Um, and we are printing copies of it. And it is our gesture of friendship to show the North Koreans who CPI are, that we're people that want to work for peaceful reunification of the peninsula and we're Americans who respect you and, and respect your revolution and and look up to Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-un and and stuff but you know what uh, we may bring these these books with us to the um to the the uh the festival and they may not take a single one of them and they may just nope America we're done talking to you you guys are from America yeah you might be communists yeah whatever go away and if they tr if they do that there's nothing we can do about that Right. I hope because I went to the World Youth Festival. Again, I can't show pictures on the screen. I got to reboot Chrome. But I went to the World Youth Festival in 20, uh, 2013 and I had an amazing meeting with the Kim Il-sung youth. And I still have books that they gave me. The Kim Il-sung youth, they, they gave me books. I, I got these books that they gave me, um, you know, at the festival. Right. They gave me this this biography, the the rep. The, uh, the, the the history of the revolutionary activities of President Kim Il-sung. And they gave me like a comic book I've got somewhere, like a children's book and a, a novel. They gave me this, I think, yeah, they gave me this novel, this 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 novel they gave me. Um, I got it from them. And I had an amazing meeting with the Kim Il-sung youth of People's Korea, right? Um, you know, and it was amazing. Um, and it really felt made me feel empowered. And it really made me think that there was hope. And, and it showed me that how big of an deal it is when an American talks to a North Korean, we can't go there no more. It's illegal. Like they will take your passport from you if you go to North Korea. So we're going to the World Youth Festival. The Kim Il-sung youth will be there. And I want to talk to them. But they very well may just blow us off. They may say, you know what? You're Americans. And, you know, reunification is off the table. And see ya. We don't want to know you. We don't want to talk to you. And there's nothing we can do about it. Right. There's nothing we can do about that. So I'm worried about it. But, you know, that's why, you know, let me just say this. OK, look, there's people in the government who are probably watching this stream right now. I know the FBI and CIA monitor these streams. Right. I've gotten harassment. I'm an RT reporter. You know, and I know that that people in the government, they think I'm garbage. Right. I work for RT. I believe in communism. I'm you know, they, they think I'm awful. But there's got to be somebody somewhere in the government who thinks that having a war with North Korea is not a good idea. You know that there's got to be somebody somewhere in the government who thinks that I, I mean, I'm somewhere who thinks that, you know, they've got nukes. We've got nukes that could end pretty badly. One go boom, the other go boom, you know? Um, and there's got to be somebody in the American government who, who thinks that. Maybe that somebody in the American government could think for a minute and go, wow, the Center for Political Innovation, Caleb's organization, are going all the way to Russia to a world gathering of anti-imperialists with a special booklet that they composed dedicated to reaching out and, and showing that some Americans, maybe a small minority, but some Americans respect them. Some Americans don't think that, that they should judge North Korea based on what they saw in Team America World Police. Right? There are some Americans, there's a small group of Americans, and 143 Americans, the Center for Political Innovation, who don't want to kill you who don't hate you, who actually admire how you supported and funded the Black Panthers, who actually admire all the solidarity you had with, with the Palestinians and, and the solidarity you now have with the people of Donbass. And, and, and that there's one small group of Americans who respect you. And I feel like there's got to be somebody in the American government who says, you know what? Caleb and his people doing their thing Maybe it's not the worst thing in the world. You know, maybe we don't need to 
you know, go after them. Maybe them going there and talking to the Kim Il Sung Yud. Maybe, just maybe, that could prevent nuclear war. Just throwing it out there. Maybe there's somebody in the American government who's sitting there, whoever the people are who monitor me, who, who keep their eye on evil RT reporter, maniacal Stalinist cult leader Caleb Maupin, who spreads propaganda and disinformation and encourages young people to question our great democratic system, right? There's going to be somebody in the American government. Who, who thinks that, who goes, wait a second, Americans can't visit North Korea anymore. Americans can't visit North Korea anymore. But there's going to be one global youth gathering that only 15 Americans are going to. And at that global youth gathering, the Kim Il-sung, the official youth group of North Korea is going to be there. And Caleb, and his group, Center for Political Innovation, they're going to be there also. And they are going to show the North Koreans that even though we're a small organization, we think they're awesome, we respect them, and we do not support what our government has done against them. And maybe there's somebody in the American government who will sit there and go, okay, that should happen. Right? I mean, I, I, I don't know, right? Maybe they're so crazy and insane that, that that'll put us in more danger of repression. Um, you know, um, I don't know. I, I don't know. But uh, there you go. No, um, you know, I am friends with, with people at a certain church in New York City uh, that is from Korea. Not a member of the church, but I go and I'm friendly with them. And Carl, shout out to Carl, Carl the Trinket Man. He sent me 10 of these these beautiful pins. And so on Carl's behalf, I gave them to people at the church, the Korean church in New York City. Uh, it's the North and South Korean flag together. And I gave it to 10 different people. And I took a picture and 10 different people, we, we, we gave them out as CPI members, we gave out our unified Korea pins, right? Um, so shout out to Carl. Carl can probably send them to you too. Beautiful, beautiful pins, the North Korean flag and the South Korean flag. And he, he sent me 10 of them in the mail, and I just gave them to people at the Korean church. And these people at the Korean church, they don't agree with me. They have very different views, but they also, their religion, they believe in a unified Korea. And so I showed up, and on behalf of CPI, and on behalf of Carl the Trinket Man, I gave them these pins. And, uh, you know, I... I am not giving up on peaceful reunification of the Korean Peninsula. But if the North Koreans at the World Youth Festival, if they just say, nope, we're not going to talk to you, I respect that. You know, and there's nothing we can do about that. We did our best. You know, we did our best to stand with a country that 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 most so-called peace activists and so-called anti-imperialists in America are too cowardly and weak to stand with. And we did our best to show them that there's at least one group in America that will stand with them. The Communist Party has sold out North Korea, but we didn't, right? And so if we just made a noble try to establish dialogue with the Kim Il-sung youth, it's worth it. It's worth it. Um, so, yeah, th those are my thoughts on the peaceful reunification of the Korean Peninsula. All right.